Welcome back to A Real Dope Mom. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my baked smoked macaroni and cheese. First I'm going to start off with heavy whipping cream and I'm just going to pour that all in the mac and cheese. If you're watching, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers, so please, please help me reach my goal. I prepped everything in the kitchen. We are outside next to the smoker, so the salt, the pepper, and the butter I already did in the kitchen. This is my grandma's recipe. When she showed me, she used milk. I want to use the cream because it's just, it makes the dish a lot more creamier. There's the chopped up cubes, which I should have probably cut those up a little smaller, but it'll be fine. And then I'm just going to pop them on in there. The cheese that I'm using is a velvet a Velveeta off brand I forget I think it's like so cheesy or something like that from save a lot I've been shopping at save a lot a lot lately I'm not sure why because I'm an all this girl but I found this super clean save a lot by the kids school and I just been rocking with that I normally go Aldi Walmart Kroger Meyer Target is on a new level but this save a lot has been getting my coins. It's just been given, y'all. It's been given. So now that I got the cubes in there, I'm going to stir it up and try to make it even. Try to get the cheese evenly throughout the dish. It's so creamy. So basically, I know other people do a lot of other stuff with their mac and cheese. I can't make lobster mac and cheese because I'm allergic to lobster. <laughs> so I like to keep my mac and cheese simple. We all make our mac and cheese differently. I ain't, I ain't going to try to compete with somebody who do several different things with their mac and cheese. I know some people use eggs. I do not. I'm not opposed to using eggs. I just, that's not the way I was taught. And they're all delicious. One doesn't taste better than the other. Well, you know, some people might choose tastes better than the other, but that's a different story. <laughs> so here I am. I'm just stirring this up. And I'm telling y'all, that wood flavor, that wood smoke is going to add a flavor that you just wouldn't think about when you think about mac and cheese. Like, it it gives you barbecue. It, or or campfire that's what i get i get like campsite i love my new smoker i got it from aldi i'm gonna add some mozzarella and i'm not gonna lie i swear i made this way too cheesy i, I had some this morning and i was like no this is not what i wanted it's just too much cheese i use too much cheese and that's fine so if you're watching this don't use as much cheese as i did I'm just going to spread that cheese right on around. I've been cooking everything in this smoker, y'all. I don't forget that I brought a propane grill. Ugh, sorry about that. I forgot that I brought a propane grill from Aldi as well. <laughs> I love that propane, propane grill, but this smoker has just been killing it. Matter of fact, I got some corn that I brought from the park, from Urban Holistics Tatum Park Market, and I'm going to smoke some corn today as well. And I'm going to make some meatloaf. I made some pork lion, and I hated it. This is me showing off the smoker and me putting it in there. That's the pork lion. I do not like it, y'all. I need to stop trying new stuff. That's what it looks like when it's... Um, coming together I took it out so I could stir it up I wanted to mix the cheese around a little bit just to make sure those chunks are melting evenly throughout the dish look how cheesy it is I should have stopped here right I should have stopped here 
Oh, y'all. Y'all should have seen the baby. He loves mac and cheese. I was sneaking him some, some little noodles, and he was just tearing it up. So, I added a top layer of mac and cheese. I'm um, not mac and cheese. Of cheese. And I popped it right on back into the smoker. Can y'all see that smoke? And that's what it looks like and this is the finished product I am very happy with it again I use way too much cheese but it was still delicious I'm telling y'all that smoke gives it just a, a new flavor an unexpected flavor giving you barbecue vibes campfire vibes summer vibes look at that Oh my gosh, it was so cheesy. This is me. I'm putting some on the plate because I wanted to try it. Look at that cheese. 